What's going on, YouTubes? Got this uh, Trans Am in here and just kind of wanted to show you something. In all of my 20 plus years of tinning and working with glass, I've heard about what's called a nickel sulfide inclusion in glass. And they can just sort of sporadically burst or whatever and cause the glass to break. So I have this uh, Trans Am here, has a broken back window. Story goes from a friend who was sitting in their shop and they heard a pop and they walked over and the back window is broken. Didn't appear that anything hit it. Um, didn't appear that much of anything other than it was just a broken window. And so I'd kind of speculate. They mentioned something about roll cage being welded in. It's like, well, maybe some slag got on it. Maybe something happened. And, you know, it's been suggested a number of times in my years of doing this. Somebody says, oh, the window just randomly bursts. It's like, yeah, probably a rock flew off a car. Or, you know, bird dropped something and it landed on the sunroof or, you know, there, there's just lots of things that uh, could happen, but because the glass breaks and then it starts falling apart, you never get to see exactly what caused it. And in this case, this is the first time, 24 years, I actually got to see one of these nickel sulfide inclusions. I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera here it's it's very very small to see and it's crazy because you know I've seen pictures on the internet of it and almost all of them look like this they have a straight line and kind of like like butterfly wings almost coming out of the area where the break initiated and if we can I got a good picture of it so if I can't get it on video, we'll get it in the picture. But, oh, where's that at? Where's our broken area? Let's see if my phone will focus. Right, right in the middle here. See, if you can see, right in the middle of those kind of butterfly wings right right where's my finger where are we at right here right in the middle of that you can kind of see like a little this the light glaring off of like a little dot that right there is our inclusion and uh you know, for a long time, I kind of thought it was maybe even just a little bit of a myth, but no, nope, they exist. And I have one sitting in my shop, pretty amazing. Hopefully, if you thought this was kind of interesting, um, maybe you're Googling because somebody told you about it. Um, well, there's one, seen it with my own eyes. And uh, if you thought this was helpful or useful, give me a like. Give me a subscribe and uh, try to keep bringing more things fun about uh, auto glass and tinning, interesting stuff about auto glass and tinning. I appreciate it. Thank you.